Um, prior to the Amata Language Center, every language teacher sort of had to fend for herself in terms of resources and classrooms. And, and so the center not only provided the kinds of resources that a modern student expects, but also it helped bring language teachers from many different backgrounds together and they were able to, they are able to explore, you know, common problems, common solutions, ways of making language teaching and learning relevant and interesting to students in 2016. Anasmi Jeff Magado, Ana Mudir de Mada Language Center, Hanea Phil Jamiat Oregon. When I was in seventh grade, our school was proud to offer French. It only offered French, <laughs> and that was okay with me because my family, like a lot of families in that school, was French. I had a great grandfather who came through Ellis Island like so many immigrants in the early part of the 20th century, and my name was once spelled like this, and that got anglicized to this. So I'm Magado with an O. I did. I studied it for two years in high school, was a terrible language student, uh, studied it for four years in college because by then I figured out that I really liked the language a lot and I got to do a study abroad when I was a junior in Tour France and that gave me sort of an interest in you know, trying to do something more with French. So I volunteered for the Peace Corps when I graduated and asked to be sent to a, a French-speaking country um, in Africa and I got sent to Morocco, which was great because in Morocco they not only speak French, they speak Arabic, they speak Spanish, and they speak their indigenous language Berber. And I got to learn pieces of all of those, but I learned Moroccan Arabic the best while there. And then after that I got a teaching job in Lisbon, Portugal, and so I spent three years there and learned Portuguese as the process. So I speak more or less four languages, English, French, Portuguese, and Moroccan Arabic. So I'm, as the director of the Model Language Center, our center is a resource center for all languages taught at the U of O. Currently that's about 23. And we try to provide services from tech to uh, touch. And the touch includes a language exchange program, it includes um, a self-study language program. If three students or more request a language, we try to put together a program for them. And of course, supporting the more frequently taught languages like French, Spanish, German, Japanese, Italian. I can also um, go online and listen to, listen to or watch films in more than 30 languages. Uh, we provide an extensive library of, of audio-video material to support learners and languages with. We are very interested in reaching out to high schools, so every year we host an annual day called Foreign Language and International Studies Day, which brings over a thousand high school students to the U of O. So there's a variety of things. If it, if it matters in language learning or language teaching, we try to have something for the students at U of O.